of Science and Math. Given that I'm on my way out of high school and that I've taken my fair share of math classes, I think I took like 13 overall, I'm going to go ahead and rank every class I took, put them in their tiers, and rate them. Uh, I want to preface this by saying all I was lucky enough that all my teachers were S tier, so if any of my teachers ever end up watching this, if I rank a class lowly, it's not because of you. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, uh, let's get to it. Also, my channel is usually just for like productivity or programming related things, sometimes books. Um, I don't actually know what it's about, so I'm just making whatever I want to, and this is one of those videos. So, let's start off by ranking them in order of when I took them. So, the first high school uh, math class that I took was technically Algebra 2, even though I was only in it for two weeks. Um, and then I tested it out and went to pre-calc, which is this unit circle image over here. So Algebra 2, um, I was only in for two weeks. I still think, oh, I still think it was, you know, it was a fine class. It wasn't anything crazy. Uh, my teacher was really nice. It's kind of boring. Uh, so I'll put it low B tier is where that goes. The next class I took was pre-calc. Uh, I didn't have a teacher for this. It was like self-paced online in ninth grade. And I will give this pre-calc. I will give, I'll give it a C, a C tier. It was in a very interesting class. It's kind of boring, um, but hey, it is what it is. All right, AP Calc AB was the next class I took. And this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Um, Interesting thing is that my first AP Calc assignment was like the summer assignment that they have you do before you take an AP class. I think I got a 50 on that because I just didn't show my work at all, uh, which was kind of stupid of me. But my first quarter of AP Calc, I was climbing. I was trying to overcome that 50. Uh, it was a pretty hard thing to do. But the actual material itself was fine enough. So I'll put AP Calc AB in A tier. Um, Calc BC, I found to be a much better class than AB. At my school, like you basically took them all together. So Calc AB in one semester and Calc BC in another, but they still showed up on your uh, transcript together. So I'm just going to count it as one class. And I think Calc BC, I'm going to put it as an S tier uh, for right now, but I might reconsider as things go on. So Calc AB and Calc BC, I took in 10th grade, pre-calc and algebra two, I took in ninth grade. Um, 11th grade, I took quite a few math classes, actually. I took graph theory slash iterative proof um multivar which was technically two classes but i'm counting it as one because i'll rate them the same a uh, linear algebra seminar and research in mathematics so i'm going to start off by ranking it in like the order that i took it so my school in 11th grade uh operated on a trimester schedule so that's why i was able to take a lot of these classes and okay graph theory start off here Graph theory was definitely high S. I think it might be my favorite math class that I've taken um, just because I do a lot of computer science, computer science stuff and I find that useful in there. Um, also, it was just really interesting getting exposed to the like, you know, leaving behind the really mechanical aspects of pre-calc to calc BC, you know, where you're just like, all right, I've seen this exact type of problem before. I'm going to apply the same problem solving strategy over and over again until I get it right. Um, you know, we're leaving behind that mechanical stuff. Uh, graph theory is like a really nice way to introduce, was a really nice introduction to me for proofs and like theoretical math or whatever. So I'll give graph theory S tier. I think it was my favorite uh, high school math class. All right, next series of classes I took was multivar. Um, it's technically two classes. In my second trimester, I took partial derivatives and something. And then in my third trimester I took multiple integrals in vector field but the class itself is calc 3 it's uh, multivar those two classes combined um, and I enjoyed the class part of it was virtual in like the time where everybody was adjusting to virtual learning so I'll give this a tier um, it was fun I actually learned a lot but the COVID experience in, tri in trimester 3 so like uh, late in my late 11th grade year kind of ruined the class for me um, just because it wasn't that fun anymore. Of course, getting into 12th grade, virtual learning got a little bit more, you know, entertaining, but it wasn't the same. Uh, but it was definitely better than that. So anyways, I'll talk about that when I get to my 12th grade classes. I'm still not done with junior year. So multivar, graph theory, 
The next class I took was technically not a class. It was kind of like a seminar. So a student class, student led uh, class over the course of like a trimester. So 11, uh, 11 weeks where you we met once a week. So I didn't really learn a lot, but linear algebra was cool. Uh, the student that led it, Nick, was also really cool. So I'll give that a low A, even though I didn't learn a ton. My next class, uh, research and math, was a really interesting thing, right? And my teacher was absolutely amazing, but my uh, group and I, uh, both pretty good friends of mine, we didn't really uh, end up doing a ton of work. And that's in part due to the fact that um, we shifted to remote learning halfway through the trimester, not even halfway, like really early in the trimester. So we just couldn't really get used to it in the middle of our project. So we ended up not getting a ton done uh, we were looking at graphs uh, and how those uh, and something about colorings of graphs and how you can change the color of a graph but that's not important we didn't do a great job on the project um, we got an A because our teacher was really nice but I wasn't super proud of the work we did so I'll give that a low B uh, but yeah I actually enjoyed the process of it it's just that I wasn't really happy with my output um, so I'll give that a low B even though it was a pretty easy A um, all right, next class. Uh, I took two classes my first semester of senior year. My school switched from trimesters to semesters. And, and the first one was data science. I don't really know why they classified it as a math class. I'm pretty sure it should be classified as a comp sci class. But because, to be honest, we didn't really do a lot of math in it. Maybe we did a, we learned a little bit of stats, um, but not a ton. So it was mostly just Python. Um, I've been doing Python for a really long time, especially some data science stuff. So this class was kind of a walk of the park. And to be completely honest, I took it to get the easy A uh, my first semester senior year to have like some sort of a buffer in between the other hard classes I was taking. But, you know, so I'll give this a high B. Put this high B. The next class I took was also during first semester, uh, math modeling. This was a really nice class because we started taking everything that we learned in uh, previous math classes. So, you know, stuff from graph theory about uh, nodes and edges and using that to make information graphs and calc stuff and algebra 2 and pre-calc and everything I'd really done so far, uh, including a lot of my programming skills. We put that as um, we use that to solve like real world problems that participated in a few math modeling competitions. Um, one of the questions we ended up doing for the math mod competition, which wasn't during the actual course of math modeling. It was like January. I worked on predicting, uh, not predicting, determining how influential a music musician was based on how much they influenced other musicians in a bunch of different measures. And that was a really cool project to work on. And math modeling, uh, I'm going to give that S tier um, right below graph here and above Calc BC. Because again, one of my most, one of my favorite classes that I've ever taken. Um, complex systems and networks. This is a class that I'm currently in. It's very, very interesting so far. And I will, again, give this an S tier. Math modeling, complex systems and networks for me. We're both by the same teacher. Absolutely goaded teacher. Um, and complex systems and networks is really fun so far. I think it might be one of the hardest math classes I've taken for me personally. Because it's just, it's, it's very different from the type of normal math you would do. So, uh it's a lot harder to get your head around some of the things, but it's still a really fun class. Um, and I'm currently clutching up an A in it. So I'm happy with that. The other class I'm taking right now is uh, number theory. Well, it's called topics in theoretical math. And uh, that it's mostly a number theory class, but I think at the end we'll do a little bit of abstract algebra. So far, great class. I like doing proofs. Um, I'm learning a lot and I'll give this an S tier um, because it's a really fun class and I'm learning a lot. So you might be wondering like, where did I get all access to all these classes from? And it's because I lucky I go to this school that's kind of like only, that's kind of like STEM focused. So they do have the opportunity to give me all these math classes. And I'm very lucky to have taken all of these. Um, and I just think they're all awesome, except pre-calc. Uh, I still don't, I just don't like pre-calc as a class or a subject, it's just weird. Um, if you ever get the opportunity to take a graph theory class or a math modeling class, you should definitely do so because they're really, really fun. Um, so that's all the classes that I have to rate and rank. If you have any comments on my tier make on my tier uh, list, then leave them down below. If you want to make your own, I'll leave a link uh, to the template also 
although obviously you probably wouldn't have taken the exact same math classes as me but you know tell me what your s tier classes are if you enjoyed the video subscribe uh leave a like and join my discord server down below and consider following me on twitter at sid codes uh, anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next one